What's up? My name is Anna and I make videos about digital planning and time management, so I'd like to welcome you. In this video, I am going to show you some tips and tricks that I've learned that you might not have heard of, as well as how to use Google Calendar to manage everything in your life. Now let's just get into the video. The first tip is syncing your Google Calendar with project management tools. If you use multiple planning or project management apps or software and would like to connect them all together in one place to visually see your schedule, Google Calendar is perfect for this. I have integrated Trello, Asana, and ClickUp with my calendar, so I will show you how to do each one. For Trello, I have the PlanAway power-up that I use to set due dates for my tasks, and you can choose either a one-way or a two-way sync with Google Calendar. I have the one-way sync because I have the free version at the moment. I also have a video explaining further on how to use PlanAway which will be linked on the top right of the screen. So copying the URL of the PlanAway Trello calendar, and then going to Google Calendar, click Settings, Add Calendar, paste the URL, name it, and pick a color of your choice. When it comes to Asana, it is a one-way sync. If you pick a project of your choice and click on this arrow here, choose export, then sync to calendar, copy the Google Calendar link and in the exact same way, add the calendar, set the color and name. Now for my favorite option, ClickUp, which also has a two-way sync which basically means that you can edit the ClickUp tasks on Google Calendar and it will update it on ClickUp and vice versa. While on calendar view of a project, click the sidebar here, add Google Calendar, add account, and then pick the option that syncs from ClickUp to Google Calendar, not the other way around. Now choose the space or folder. And there it is. The second trick I have is setting custom colors for events. Have you been in a situation where you add events to your calendar and you're about to color code them, but then you realize you have such a disappointing selection of colors? I found a solution for this one with the help of a Chrome extension, and the name of it is More Colors for Calendar. After adding it to your Google Chrome, go to htmlcolorcodes.com, choose your color, and copy the hex code. Also, all the things mentioned will be linked in the description box. Now go to Google Calendar, choose the event you want to change the color of, and you see this plus icon that has appeared because of the Chrome extension. Click it, paste the hex code, and then click OK. Now right click the event again, and as you can see, the color you added is right there. This color is now saved, so you don't have to do all these steps for each event. Now you might be wondering, but Anna, what if I don't want to have that color there anymore? Well, no problem. You are able to remove it and I'll show you how. Keep in mind, you have to be on the Google Calendar tab in order for this to work. On your Chrome browser, click the extensions icon, click the extension, and simply click on the color or colors that you want to remove. Simple. Have you ever wanted to change the background of your Google Calendar even though it doesn't offer you the option to do so? Well, you actually can. This is another Chrome extension that I've been loving recently. It's called Custom Calendar Background. Now, after adding the Chrome extension to your browser, when going back to your calendar tab, you can also see this little image suddenly pop up on the top here. Click it. And as you can see, you have two choices. 
Either it changes the background of your calendar every month with the images of your choice, or a single image that does not change unless you manually change it. I prefer this choice because I am basic and use white marble as my background for everything. So I'm copying the image address from Google and pasting it here. And there you go. Looks so much more personalized. Add whatever image looks cute or you want to see every day. It can be a picture of you and your partner, your pet or your favorite child, anything you like. Next tip is organizing Google Tasks. This is a helpful tip if you like to catch random to-dos, tasks, ideas, etc. during the day. Having a lot of them and being able to have a system for them. And yep, you guessed it, it's a Chrome extension. After adding this extension, click on it and sign in with the Google account you use for your Google Calendar. Now. How you can use this extension, for example, is, is when you have to-dos that pop in your head during the day or at night when we have the most thoughts, it feels like adding them to your calendar quickly, then later sorting them either by urgency or separating life from work, or you can even create a separate uh, section for ideas that pop into your head. So instead of your tasks scattering around in your calendar, you have an organized system for them. Lastly, I will explain how you can use Google Calendar to manage all of this every week. First, when it comes to the main project that I'm focusing on, the timeline for that project has been created ahead for the next three months and synced with the calendar, so I don't have to do anything with that. Second, plan your personal life ahead either in Trello, ClickUp, that is synced or on the calendar itself. Solely depends on your preferences. If you plan directly on the calendar or use a two-way synced option like in ClickUp, you can color code the events better with the extension mentioned before. I have, I have a video on how to plan in your Google Calendar, which is using the time blocking method. So definitely check it out if that is the option you choose. Add reminders to everything extra important or time sensitive, like getting ready for an appointment or video calling a friend at a time you promised to video call, or even taking a chicken out of the freezer to defrost it for tomorrow things like that. And lastly, whatever tasks or ideas that come into your mind later, just use the tasks option. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like and subscribe if you would be more interested in more digital planning content. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Ciao!